Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham. If you didn't hear, George McCaskey and Ted Phillips uh, just addressed the media. They're actually still answering questions as we speak, but I wanted to get this video out. McCaskey says, I was impressed with both of them talking about Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy for the 2020 NFL season. They are both coming back. That is confirmed. So, what is your one-word reaction to Nagy and Pace returning in 2021? Let it out. Let me know in the comments. I know a lot of you guys are going to be upset. I'm fairly upset as well. One-word reaction to the McCaskies bringing back Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace. Get your comments down below. So we'll start with Matt Nagy. The head coach will return for a fourth season in 2021. The McCaskies and uh, D Ted Phillips did talk about, oh, we, we love his leadership. We love how he collaborates with Ryan Pace. They lauded their uh, how they navigated through this coronavirus, and some of those things are probably valid. It was certainly a challenging year in 2020. Two playoff seasons or appearances in three seasons, but let's be real. They went 8-8 eight and eight for a second straight year, so pretty disappointing in 2020. You got to feel like next season will be pretty critical. I know a lot of you guys expected 2020 to be a make or break season for Matt Nagy and, of course, Ryan Pace, but it appears they're going to get another chance in 2021. So we will see what happens. All I know is a big offseason looms in Chicago. Now, you guys know me. I've been on the fence with Nagy this season. I've kind of gone back and forth. I could see it both ways because I saw what he did in 2018. And even though the past two seasons have been underwhelming, he's never gone below 500, and he's made the playoffs twice. Now, 0-2 in the playoffs is unacceptable, and McCaskey and Phillips acknowledge that. Look, we got to make the playoffs, and we got to win playoff games and compete for championships. The Bears don't feel like they're that close to doing that. I don't feel like they're that close to doing that. So Matt Nagy's got to improve. His offense has to improve. There's no doubt, but... He's going to get another opportunity, and this offseason is going to be big, and obviously the, uh, how the results on the field next season will be monstrous in terms of if he's the guy long term or not. Is bringing back Matt Nagy the right move? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Is bringing him back the right move? Let me know in the comments. And by the way, follow me on Twitter, at HGramNFL. You guys can vent to me over there as well. As far as Matt Nagy goes, I'm conflicted, and you guys know that. And I know a lot of you guys you don't like Nagy. You want him gone, and I get that. Honestly, I was down with, with a blow-up and a restart, but the McCaskies made it clear. They, they, George even said, we don't think that's the right decision here. We don't believe in blowing things up when you hit a little bit of adversity is the right move. But when things get stale, I can understand it wanting to go in a new direction, even though Nagy's only been there for three seasons. But I am conflicted because I have seen him do some good things. I have seen two playoff appearances. But the best we've seen is two seasons removed now. 2018, his first year, was the best we've seen from Matt Nagy. Ever since Vic Fangio left as the defensive coordinator to go take the Broncos job, this team hasn't been as good. So maybe Nagy isn't the guy to be uh, the long-term head coach. He's going to get another opportunity in 2021. And I'll say this right now. If there is not notable improvement next season, offense gets better, play calling is better, whether it's Nagy or someone else calling plays, and this is not a 10-plus win team, then you got to make change after next year. I but think there should have been more change this year with at least Ryan Pace. I think just firing Chuck Pagano isn't enough, but uh, Matt Nagy's going to come back in 2021, and we will see what he has to say about that opportunity as well. And obviously I wanted to re-hit this. Chuck Pagano does retire. Uh, we did our Chuck Pagano replacements video yesterday, but that was before the news became official that he has retired. So the Bears do need a new defensive coordinator. Great career, 19 years in the NFL. We'll always remember you know, him battling cancer as the Colts head coach and coming back and taking into the playoffs and all that. But this is probably the best for both sides, right? Pagano and the Bears defense got a little bit stale. So I think moving in a new direction for the Bears defense uh, is is a good move, so that will be Matt Nagy's next next task of finding a new defensive coordinator. We'll see who that ends up being, but I did just want to mention this and uh, that Chuck Pagano will not be a part of this organization moving forward. Now, who should the Bears hire as their next defensive coordinator? Let me know down in the comments section. Who should the Bears hire as their next DC? I put out some candidates. Let me know what you guys think down below. 
Now, I want to hit 20,000 subs on Chicago Bears now today. We're 65 subs away from 20K. Help us get there by hitting that big red button and subscribing. I think we can get there before midnight. We got the, today's video. We got a video later on today. More on that in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, we are very, very excited here on Chicago Bears now. Chuck Pagano replacements. You can check that out on the channel. Five candidates who could replace him. Keep in mind, the first couple of minutes was hypothetically if the Bears would fire him. He obviously retired, so keep that in mind when you watch the video. But the bulk of the video is five potential replacements, so you can check that out once you subscribe at youtube.com slash bears now. Let's talk about Ryan Pace next, and I think I'll get a little more animated here. Uh, he's back. He's back for yet another season. It'll be his uh, seventh year as the Bears GM, and uh, uh, Chicago believes he's the right man for the job, despite numerous decisions in the NFL draft and in free agency that just make you scratch your head if you're being completely honest about that whole situation. It's disappointing in a lot of sense, in my opinion. I think this is a mistake to keep Ryan Pace as the team's general manager. And quite frankly, I'll just be blunt, this is infuriating. Keeping Ryan Pace in charge of the Chicago Bears football decisions is a bad move. And that's something else I should mention too, because Ted Phillips will return as well. George McCaskey says all the speculation and chatter. And I try telling you guys that Ted Phillips is involved in football affairs. Not really true. So uh, keep that in mind. But he did, he was involved in hiring Ryan Pace. So that factors in. It's infuriating. It's frustrating. I don't think keeping Ryan Pace is the right move. He's had enough time. GMs don't get this long and get to make this many mistakes and the on-field success be as poor as it has during his tenure and get to keep going. It just doesn't happen in today's NFL, yet the McCaskey family believes that he is the right man for the job and his collaboration with Matt Nagy will be key to success moving forward. I guess things can change, but uh, what is the definition of insanity? I think you guys know that one. What's not insane is making some money, and you guys can do so at Bet Rivers. So go to chatsports.com slash betil, chatsports.com slash betin, Illinois or Indiana, depending on where you are there. You can sign up and deposit from anywhere, but to actually place a bet, you must be within one of those two states. Indiana folks, chatsports.com slash betin, Illinois folks, chatsports.com slash betil. Make some money, bet on divisional round weekend with Bet Rivers. Let's talk more about Ryan Pace because, uh, obviously, I said he's made a ton of mistakes. Well, here's just a few of them, and trust me, there's more. Paying Mike Glennon $45 million, great decision. Trading up for Mitchell Trubisky, even better with Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes available. How about Robert Quinn, $70 million? Yeah, he gave you two sacks this year. Didn't address the Bears O-line. He has not drafted a tackle before the sixth round in any of the drafts he's been in charge of. Think about that. Didn't extend Allen Robinson. Couldn't do it. Couldn't hashtag extend AR, but uh, you guys know how that goes. It's been a disaster. And most importantly, and we've mentioned that on a couple of those notes there, he can't evaluate quarterbacks. If you can't evaluate quarterbacks in uh, 2021, you can't be a uh, GM in the National Football League. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve a second chance to be in a front office somewhere else as an assistant to a GM and, you know, hit the reset button on his career. I'm not saying he has no good attributes. Uh, the McCaskies mentioned that, look, uh, the Darnell Mooney pick in round five, sure, that's great. You find those uh, contributors on day three of the draft, that has some value. But if you miss on the big picks, if you trade up for a quarterback and you pick the wrong one, you deserve to be ridiculed for that. You deserve to lose your job over that, in quite all honesty. Uh, Deshaun Watson and Patrick Mahomes, especially Watson, because Mahomes was a bit of an unknown, Watson had just won a national title. You could have just stayed at number three and drafted him there. Instead, you traded up for Mitchell Trubisky. No offense to Mitch, but he's not a future Hall of Famer like Deshaun Watson is. So let's call a spade a spade. Keeping Ryan Pace is a horrible decision. There's no way around it. I could go either way on Nagy. I I'm fine either way, but uh, spam F in the comment section if you guys believe that r keeping Ryan Pace is a horrible decision. And I want to give a couple of final thoughts here. We'll go full screen for this one. Spam F in the comments if you think ke keeping uh, Pace is horrible because F for failure. It's been an absolute disaster. But here's the deal. Matt Nagy, Ryan Pace, Ted Phillips, all back. Don't focus on Phillips. Nagy and Pace is the focus. This offseason's critical, and now we have to watch Ryan Pace get another quarterback in Chicago. 
My hope is that Matt Nagy has way more influence on who the next quarterback is because the McCaskey said, you, we need more production at quarterback. That tells me I don't think Mitch is coming back. I don't think Trubisky will be back. We'll explore that throughout the upcoming days and weeks. But whoever they take at quarterback here, you got to hit. And do you trust Ryan Pace to get, get this right? I don't. I'm hoping Matt Nagy has more influence and he can evaluate better. But that's what's disappointing about this is that – you need a new quarterback, and you're keeping a GM that's brought in multiple that have not worked. And Trubisky, Glennon, traded for Nick Foles. It's been bad. you got to figure it out. Hopefully Pace gets it right this time, but what have we seen that would suggest that that will happen? More of my takes throughout the day and obviously every day on Twitter at HGramNFL. And coming up later today on the channel, we got some more Chicago Bears rumors for you guys. A couple of other topics that we will discuss, so stay tuned for that. That's why you guys got to subscribe and turn on those notifications. We'll see you this afternoon.